In this four-part series, we'll be exploring a full abandoned town in the middle of the mountains that was damaged by earthquake in 2009. Over the next four weeks, you'll see me explore every inch of this village, which nobody has done before on YouTube. And some of the things are gonna blow your mind. From human remains, right through to untouched buildings and houses. history seekers I am in the weirdest of places at the moment I mean a huge abandoned town now as you can see on the skyline they are doing some of the front buildings up but what they're doing is mainly sort of removing rubble because this place was involved in a massive earthquake in 2009 now I'm not sure the best way to go whether I should Head up, because that's a road, I think, there. So if I get onto that, it should take me into the top. However, I think the buildings I want are these ones over here. So I don't really know what's best. But the thing is, all the lights are on and stuff like, not the house lights, the the lamps and stuff, street lamps. It's all a bit, bit spooky, I'm not going to lie. I've decided to go up this trail here. Well, this road, cut across, up the road and into the main town. I think I'd probably be better going that way. However, if there's anybody keeping an eye on this place, they're going to be down there, not up here. So I'm going to take my time, get across all this rubble and walk up here. It's that weird low light. We're right on the edge of the mountains, the snow-topped mountains, not far from here. I don't know whether to use a torch or not. Sort of doesn't really make much difference, does it? But that's where we're heading. I don't like it already. It just seems weird. I feel like I'm just going to walk down here and there's going to be people sat in their house watching Coronation-y street -y, or Via Coronation. <laughs> weird it's all really weird I'm guessing it's all that lot up there as well and then the ones up this hill but further down the village there's about 20 houses at the bottom that people live in but I mean it's like half a mile away from here this is totally different now I'm under no I'm not going to fool myself. God. A lot of these places are going to be like this. Relatively new. Full of nothing exciting. And I will try and avoid these as much as I can for you. But I also don't know how many places I can actually get in. It does worry me a little bit. That there's going to be people living rough in these places because they're all dry enough it's just a bit freaky isn't it can you imagine that feeling of when the earthquake struck though the fear it'd be horrendous and it happens a lot around it i sort of want it to happen while i'm here not while i'm in a building and not to hurt anybody but just to like a tremor or something it'd be so good like something i'm I, I have experienced it once in my house at two o'clock in the morning. And no, not because I fell out of bed or I farted, just a very mini one back, I don't know, about 10 years ago or maybe more, 15 years ago. So, but I'd like to experience it properly. Now, as you can see, a lot of these have been reinforced. 
because the damage that was done, big chunks of building had fallen off. And that was the main thing they were concerned about. If you look inside, there's big chunks of stone at the back of there. Don't think, man, look, all the props holding the place up. I do want to get inside some of these, but I think the best buildings are up at the top. Some of these older buildings. We'll go and have a look in this one. Sort of want to carry on that direction and do all the bottom ones first. But that just looks really inviting. Right, we'll go up in there a minute. This is the one that's been held together by all sorts. I don't know whether I can actually open this door or not. Oh, I can. I just want to show you. Oh, it's just full of people's stuff all over. Oh, that's a squeeze. I just want to show you some of the ones that are in a state as well. Like the ones that are likely to fall down. Oh, this is bizarre. This is really weird to think what it must have been like to be in here when it were happening. Oh, Jesus Christ. I also need to be watching what I'm doing. I don't want to bring the whole building down because I'm not looking where I'm going. It's just how I'm looking at all these stuff left out on here. And a little hat. They all, look at that. Oh my Lord, look at that crack. That's not just one crack, that's a multitude of cracks. <laughs> that's, the wow. <laughs> Last time I saw a crack like that, I was down in Barnsley on a Saturday night. <laughs> but it's, it's scary, you know, like the size of that. And they're all over. There's like, oh, look, look above me there. The whole wall's just cracked up. And this is why they're going to struggle to put a lot of these buildings back together. Now, they did say that in some of these places, they came back for the property. But some, it was just deemed far too dangerous to come in. So they left it. Look at that little fire there. Uh, yeah, they left their stuff. I like that sink as well. Um, but hopefully, we'll come across some of the ones that are full of stuff. Oh, in fact, oh Lord. There's bars across and all sorts. I'll have to do a hands and knees job underneath this one, I think. It's the bag. The bag's gonna cause the problems. Jeez. Oh, oh, it wasn't too bad. There's another one up here though. Oh no, this one goes across, we're all right. Now I'm reckoning there's bats, because that looks like bat poo. Oh, look. This must be one of the ones where a lot of the stuff's left. Really awkward not to kick things as I'm walking past. Especially knowing how dangerous it is in here. Oh, look in here. Wow. I just stood on these tiles and all the floor here is buckled because Obviously, it's all gone funny with the, the quake. Oh, look at all the clouds. These houses are tiny, though. The rooms are so small. What have we got in here? Oh, blankets and things like that. So it's like they've took the essentials out. Although they've left all the clothes. But all the main things for living have gone. And it's just like blankets and stuff left. Look at that jacket. Imagine wearing that on a Saturday night out on the town. You'd look all right, Bobby Dazzler, with that. Oh, I've got to be careful. I keep resting on this. <laughs> That's not a good idea at all. But yeah, it, it is worrying, this one. I'm going to have a look in this end room and then we'll make our way into that other building behind. Oh, this just looks like a bathroom. Although, look at the tiles in there. What is it with the Italians and the tiny baths? Do they not have proper baths? Do they just like sit in them and wash their feet? Because that is very strange. Is there more stairs? There's more stairs here. Surely not. Up into the attic. Right, here we go. Oh 
Jesus. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Everything's creaking and moving. Everything's leaning. This is just not a good idea. I've brought loads of battery packs with me this time. So if we have torch issues, I've also got about five torches. Because I knew. What is happening here? Just a minute. So there's a door up at the top, but there's also like space there to put things in. There's books and everything. There's space in there. Look at that old bottle there, look. Loads of boots. Loads and loads of boots. And then <laughs> there's been a squirrel storing his nuts. Let's have a look. I'd like to know what those books and stuff are. I just don't know if I can I'm sort of balancing myself because this is leaning. Let me reach around, see if I can get it. Do like a good reach round. Oh no, that's that's a tile, not a book. I can't reach them. I can't reach them because I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards down. So oh, look at the cracks. Oh my goodness. That's not a great deal up here, I don't think. Oh, it's a nice big mirror. Nice big mirror there. We might get a view out of this window up here. There just seems to be clothes everywhere. Oh, look at this. What can we see? Look at that. That's a view, isn't it? That's a brilliant view, actually. I'm gonna get a, try and get a proper photo of that. Right, I am a little bit worried because, well, I don't know why I'm worried about this, but earlier on, I was in a massive thunderstorm, like huge thunderstorm. And it's just started to rain here. I escaped the rain in the car and I'm, it's looking like it's followed me. I do love a good thunderstorm, but I don't know why. I just feel a bit more uncomfortable about it here. Like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't really have a reason. It just seems like it'd be bad, it'd be a bad thing. <laughs> right, every wall has got big cracks in. And the thing is, watch this. Where is it? It actually, you can't really see, but the whole thing moves. I put my hand on that a minute ago and the whole thing moved with it. So I've got to be extremely careful. Right, before we go up these stairs, there was what looked like a couple of wine cellars under here. I'm looking this one first. Oh Lord, there's a lot of stuff in here. That's definitely wine, isn't it? It's like a wine press. Oh, that's good. That's quite old by the looks of things as well. And this, I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm guessing it's a wine. Just saw all that hair in there, I wonder what it were. Yeah, you hand wind it. I don't know if you do, it's the same sort of process as that, but you do it at the side with this one. I'm really not quite sure, but there's all sorts of stuff in here. Look, people's possessions just piled up in boxes. All of the oh, wine bottles for production as well. Obviously it's only on a small scale for the people that live here. There's a strong smell of weed in here. I don't know why, but there is. <laughs> oh look, there's some letters on here. I don't know when these will be from. Look at that writing. Now this is, a, like I've said before, people are always like, oh, do Google, Google Translate on it. I genuinely don't think it would work. Now there's no date on the corner. I'd like to know what that says. I'm sure there'll be somebody that'll translate it. Although if the handwriting's bad, it's it's hard to know. I'm trying to recognise any words in there and it's quite hard because of the, the handwriting. Got some more letters and stuff in here. Well, I'd like to find some photographs of the people that lived here. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? All different knickknacks and stuff in there. But yeah, look. Look at the big wine i want to say jardinier but that's wrong isn't it um what are they wine some things oh look at the barrels as well 
I wonder if there's anything in them still. Because I wouldn't have thought they'd empty. Oh, God, there's no way that's turning. That is stiff. Same with that. Not going anywhere. But yeah, they're not going to empty them out, are they, before they leave? So they could probably still be full of wine. And then you've got these to put them in afterwards. I want to say carafe, but I still think that's wrong. I know that's wine related, but I don't think it's right. And then, what have I just seen? This. Is that, is it a plane? I, I can't remember. It's quite an old looking one. Whatever it is. And then, uh, some other weird looking contraptions. There's loads of bird cages as well. I noticed a couple over there. The one there. There's one down there. They're all over. But is this oh God, is this built into the into the rock? It sort of looks like it's dug into the rock, doesn't it? I'm not sure. There's a hole up there and a hole there. Oh, is someone running their electric wires through? <laughs> Imagine. That's your electrics. That's crazy, isn't it? Like, I live in a Victorian 1901. Oh, no, technically it's not Victorian, because it was just after she died. 1901, the same year Victoria died. And the electrics in my house are oh, terrible. It cost me a fortune to get them sorted. Someone been having a swing. <laughs> um, get them, it cost a fortune to get them sorted, but can you imagine having electrics like that? Mad, isn't it, really? You don't think about it in these old places. Look at these big old wooden doors, though. They've seen some stuff over the years, haven't they? One of the big locks. Definite, definitely old. It's really still. There's no car noises in the distance. There's no bird noises. No, there's just nothing. It's about six o'clock at night, pitch black. And the only lights I can see currently are the ones down where those, where my car's parked. I could see some in the distance when we were up in that window a minute ago of the village down below. But there's no noise. Apart from me, who don't shut up. And I keep getting people telling me to stop talking, but it's all wrong channel if you want me to shut up. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Now, these buildings, which come out of that door there, these buildings are actually very tall. It's because they're built on, on a hillside. So they sort of sit backwards onto the hill. And it supports them being really tall. But I suppose it's not still not great in an earthquake situation, is it? Oh, well, it looks like there's some stuff in there. Right, I'm gonna have a look around these. If there's anything worth seeing, then I'll show you. Now, the first one was pretty empty. There was a bed and stuff in there. This one looks weird. Look at the windows on the door. Well, look at the door itself. Very, very strange. Oh, look at look at that chest. That is one hell of a chest. Wow, I do like a good chest, but even this one's impressed me. Yeah, look. Imagine that with the little candles on. It's uh, it is freaking me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie, this place because I'm not used to. Anything on this scale. Even the one in Croatia that I did, the village in Croatia is, it was probably a third of the size of this, if not less. It's weird. Uh, you've got a frying pan and the fire there. And what seems to be loads of stuff scattered about in this one. Paperwork and books and letters and all sorts. It looks like, look at that. That is a weird way to get in an attic. I'm gonna to have to have a look up there in a minute. I'll look through these in a sec. Just wanna go a bit further. Oh my Lord. Oh my goodness me. There is something on the floor that I can't show you, but I wanna show you. I'll show you, I'll try and show you a bit of it and let you use your imagination for the rest. Oh, I'm stuck there. Right, what we got in here? This is probably the biggest room we've been in so far. It's actually quite a decent size. Right, that's a, a hefty piece of furniture. And so is that. Why is there just a picture of a bed? Is that because they haven't got a bed? They just had a photo of one instead. 
But yeah, there's some big piece of furniture. Right, I'm gonna get that thing and try and show you. What is happening here? Why is the... Why is there someone's hair? I actually think it's real. It feels real. Why is there someone's head on the floor? <laughs> what is that all about? There's loads of it. It's like someone's being scalped. <laughs> I told you these mini torches come in handy sometimes. I, th I think you can imagine what's behind them. Although the, the woman in it looks very manly. Very, very manly. Uh, AC. What's that say? AC. Zia Rosa non e brava solo coquina. I don't know why she's suddenly Spanish. Oh, stop pervenir. Oh. Mmm. Bueno, bueno, saporito, compiese me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's loads of it down there. I can't show you, but there's loads. And it's like photos, not just cartoons. But <laughs> that's not what I expected to find in here, if I'm being honest. I don't really know why not. But, <laughs> and that's, she's got yogurt on her face there. She's just eating badly. Right, come on. Right, so I was just about to leave this room and go up that into the attic bit. I noticed this, because there's a window over there, but that window goes out to like the normal outside. This just looked weird, because I could see walls behind it. If you look down there, there's a weird sort of floor bit, a door right here, and a little ladder, like a proper makeshift ladder coming from down there. I don't know how you get down there, and there's, look, there was a door on here once and it's been plastered shut. But also, what is going on here, look? There's scratch marks and jump marks. It's like an animal's been jumping in and out of this window. Look at those, like little paw marks. And they're not little, to be fair. If you look at the width of that, how can I show you? So, oh, I don't know how to do this. It's like half my finger is one of the paws. So it's like a dog. It's not a cat, it's too big for a cat. But then look, you can see they've been going over it and over it loads to get out there. But what is it? What sort of deem, and look, it's got a ceiling on this as well. What is this all about? I wanna know how you get to that door. Although I don't know if I can get down. Weird, very weird place. Right, let's get looking up upstairs. Now I've got to be very careful looking through this lot because there's a lot of naked lady photos behind me. And I'm a bit concerned that there's gonna be more here. Oh God, when's that from? Is that old or is it just, oh, 1949 that look. Milan, 22nd of November, 1949. It's just been ripped in half now. But there is, there's loads and loads of new and old looking paper. I can't stand, I don't want to stand on it, but I've got to. Yeah, loads of stuff. Most of it has been ripped in half, which I think is really weird. I don't really know why. Anyway. Let's have a look up here if we can. I am a bit scared of going up here, I'm not gonna lie. Right, I've gotta be careful because I have seen more naked lady. There's also Polly Pocket. There's no naked Polly Pocket, I hope. Oh, look at that. That looks old. What a shame that that's been smashed up. I bet there's all sorts of good stuff knocking about in here. I just don't know how. I can't really look at it because it's all on the stairs. Oh, these are moving loads. <gasps> look at all woodworm in there. These are rotten. I feel like I'm gonna fall. Every step makes me feel like I'm gonna fall. But I've gotta get up there now. Oh, that one's broken, that one's broken. <sighs> Matt, what are you doing? Why do I do silly things like this? 
I know why I do it. I do it for you. I, I know you're probably saying, no, don't do it for me. Don't do it for me. But I do it for you because otherwise we'd never see up there. I'm doing it for me as well. I hate not knowing what's up somewhere. Every step I'm scared. Like when I'm stood still, it's not so... Right, that's me pushing down on this step at the top. It is pure rotten. I'm sorry for swearing, but fear and all that. I bet there's nothing up here now. I bet there's absolutely nothing. Isn't it typical that in the worst place possible, I'm trying to show you in the light, I find a load of old photos ripped up. And I can't, they were all in this pile here underneath. I can't show you because I'm in the most awkward spot. Look, there's more. The most awkward spot because I'm stuck, my bag's stuck behind me. I'm like stuck underneath this, sort of crouching, scared of going up every step I go up. I don't want to push down on a step too hard either. Oh, then there's anything up here. Oh, there is the next level. Weird. So it's literally brought me to the next street above. Climbing up here, I've like almost climbed into someone else's house. <laughs> this is madness. I am so scared of climbing up this last little bit though. I've got to try and work it out how to do it. Just a minute. In fact, if I put you down, put my torch down, then I can... Oh my God, I thought I'd gone then. I thought I'd gone. Someone's gonna find this phone and look back on it and just see me disappear through an hole in the floor. The problem is I can't actually see where I'm putting my feet anymore. I'm scared. That's not safe. That is not safe. That is not safe. I need to get onto this top step. I have to take my bag off. If I fall down there, no, now I'll have no torches, no phone, or anything. I hope there's nothing gonna spike me up my bum if I do this. Ready? This is the big push. If this goes wrong, we're fucked. Get ready. One, two, three. Oh no, that's not solid. That is not solid. Oh God, I've got to be careful here, you don't see my balls. Um, let's leave my foot there. That was the step falling down below me. This is not, this is not good. I think you can see now, there, wait a minute, I'll get it to zoom in. That's the step I was stood on that broke when I was stood on it. Jeez, oh, but we are, we're up to another level. Right, just wanna have a look this way first. I think it's just a balcony. I can't be 100% sure. Yeah, I think it is. Does it lead to anything? Oh, it does lead, it's like a terrace up there, look. I don't think there's any point going up there. And that's, that looks like the house I was in a minute ago. With the yellow door down there. But I don't remember a door leading outside. Bizarre. Right. There. Oh God, look at this roof in here. I'm gonna say ceiling, but I don't know if it's a ceiling or a roof. It's a bit of both, isn't it? That was, that were really scary. I know I'm gonna have all my finders beepers mothers telling me off, telling me I shouldn't be doing that. I also shouldn't be shining a torch in my eyes while I'm walking near a massive hole. That's probably not the best idea. 
But if you look beyond the ladder, it's a fair old drop that, you know. Boosh. Smashed his skull in on the floor. Now, don't you think it's strange? They've bricked this door up. All the doors that are left open and this one's been bricked up and then kicked open again. I wonder why. Somebody at some point has been sleeping in here. Cause look, oh, I could, I could use that. Don't know what, what like infections they've got. But yeah, the sleeping bags, there's a bed there with a strange hippo on it. <sighs> I don't know what's upstairs though, but I'm guessing this is probably one of the driest rooms there is. Warmest rooms, I'm sweating. Like, it's not, it's not a boiling day. It's like, it's probably about 12, 13 degrees outside. But, you soon get hot in these places. You soon, soon start to sweat, especially with this bleeding bag on my back. What have we got up here? Not a great deal. Right, let's move on and find somewhere else. Right. This is where we've come out of from coming up there. Now, I'm a bit concerned. Because I don't know if you can hear it. There's a buzz of electric there. There's a light on over there as well. But the big tower, that looks mega cool. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really good. It's just there. It's weird though, look. Does that mean no parking? in this area. Oh yeah, look, no parking sign there. It's weird to think people... Is it these up, this light here I can hear? Yeah, it seems weird to think that people used to bring the cars and park here. It's all very strange. I wanna know what that light is up there. And this is all a bit odd as well, isn't it? What is that noise? I just feel like a big alarm's gonna go off any minute. What is it? It's freaking me out. Right, we're gonna go back this way for now. Oh, there's plenty of stuff in there. Like I said, we'll go back this way. I'm gonna check that light out. I wanna know what it is. There's a cellar down there. I'm on edge now. What is it? I don't know what it is. There's curtains up in this place. There's a big lock on that one. So we're not going in there. Let's go and have a look at these, these cellars. See if there's a way up to the main house. But before we do, look at the, I just turned around, I didn't realize how grand and amazing these buildings are. Maybe that's why they're trying to protect these ones more than some of the others. Probably shouldn't be going in this one yet, just in case I set something off. But I can't not. I'm hoping there's a way to get from the cellar, but I doubt there is because most of them don't in Italy don't seem like you can get anywhere. Look at the old metal jug in there. Yeah, I have a feeling it will just be a dead end up here, which it is. It's a very weird one though, it's just cut out of the rock. There's no point in me going in that bit. I'm just making sure there was no like, ladders up or something like that. You see, I hate it now because because there's that big padlock on there and that noise, it makes me want to go in even more. But this is when I get myself in trouble because I do things like this because, is it anti-establishmentarianism? Anti uh, basically, I, I hate rules. I hate following what I'm supposed to do. I've never liked it. So the thought of being told you can't do it Makes me want to do it even more. You see, some of these big buildings have had, like, are locked up and have had the handles taken off them. That doesn't mean I can't get through that window, though. Although the window may just take me to a sealed cellar. Oh, no, it doesn't. We need to find a way in here. 
and then we need to find a way back out again because that's the main thing right i'll get looking for something to stand on that bin's shouting me we'll have a look see if we can get on that right so i've just found a hole down to a door that came into a cellar and it went down and down and down and down and i couldn't film because it was too awkward but now i mean a cellar which I think is that house that I was looking at a minute ago through the window. So we need to make our way back up. I'll just quickly show you around in here first. Yeah, look at this. I don't know what, I don't know if this is wine making or, or what it is. I hope I can get out of here because I don't want to go back the way I've just come. That were really awkward. This goes up, I'm guessing it'll bring me out in that house and then I can climb back out of that window. I was looking for a way to climb in it. Oh, there's stuff in here though. There's another floor above us. Oh, look. There's loads more stuff in this one. Look at the big old box. What are they for? Are they for pizza ovens? Those big paddle boards. Or are they for the naughty women again? Spanking and all that. What is that for? There's a couple of things in here. I'm not sure what they're for, to be fair. Like this. What is this? Is it some sort of press? I don't really know. Anyway, more stairs. And up we go again. More stuff. That's a good sign. Little tiny wine ones. Feeling really nervous. Don't know why, but this one's making me feel more nervous than before, than the other ones. It's because we need hear that electric noise as well. Oh, look. <gasps> oh, wow. This is a bit different, isn't it? Oh my goodness me. Look at it in here. It's just set out like, it's just been Christmas, look. They're just putting all the Christmas stuff away. They've even got all the drinks down there from Christmas. Got a big fireplace there, look, with a big hood. Massive hood with all the soot in it. That's good. There's a door there, I hope we can get out of that. We'll have a look upstairs first though. I am sweating, man. These houses hold heat so well. It's dripping down my head. I've brought some water with me for a change. It's very rare I bring any drinks with me. I have today, I'm so glad. So when we get up these stairs, I'm gonna have a drink. I almost wanna tell you to go first. Cause I'm feeling uneasy about it up here. It feels very lived in, very recently lived in. And I feel uncomfortable coming in here. This is more like the sort of explores you see back in the UK with all the stuff. Chanel number 19. I only thought they went up to five. Oh, look. Mother Teresa. It just feels very, very fresh, this. Very, very fresh. Although that telly is something out of 1992. Although, no, early 2000s we still had tellies like that. And it was 2009, oh, what's this date on here? <gasps> Look, April 2009, that's when it happened. So this has been exactly like this for the last, what, 15 years in this exact state, apart from maybe the, the stuff thrown on the floor where someone's been trying to rob stuff, I'm guessing. Oh, look. Like, when I thought about a village in the mountains, I thought about very rustic, very similar to what we've done before when we're in Croatia, 
like empty rooms, but like bits and bobs of good stuff. And this is like a whole house that's just normal. And I know it's gonna be normal because it was 2019, it's Italy, it's not like a third world country, but I just don't imagine it to be like this. But this is definitely gonna have to be a multi-part video. It's, it's gonna have to be, because there's so much to see. So much to see, we've not covered anywhere near a third of this place yet. Oh, look, there's all sorts of stuff. See, it's things like that. You know that there's like a teenager lived here, learning to draw people's medals. Obviously they've been, oh no, it's, it's there, look. Little football medal. Oh, what's it say? When was this? Bruno Michelina Gomi Auto, I can't read, I don't, first class. No date on it there. It's very hard to show you as well to get focused. There we go. There we go. Little football one. I'm gonna put it back in there. Although it might not. Yeah, it does come out of that. Um, that's a very much an Andy thing to do, to put that back in place. Although he'd probably close the lid as well, but I'm not gonna because I'm a rebel. What is that? Yeah, they're obviously into the football. There's bits of football stuff all over. But yeah, it's just. That scared me to death. It's uh, it's very weird, this. Very, very weird. Now I'm just sat drinking my water. I'm just having two minutes, just relax. And it's, I don't know how I feel about this place. It's weird, because it's a thousand year old village, at least a thousand years old. Um, I was reading something, I, a certain part of the village was built a thousand years ago. But there's parts that could be, like, there could be other bits that I don't know about. But this is really modern. This is really weirdly normal. And it's like somebody got up yesterday and left. But, and then I was just putting myself in the position of, can you imagine being sat in your house and then that happening and you have to leave and you can never go back? Like your whole life is just ruined. Not ruined, because you're not dead, but... Like, how comfortable you get with houses and, like, I've lived in my house for 21 years now, the same house for 21 years. And the thought of upping and leaving that house, it's just sad. So, to have to is crazy, really. It just blows my mind a bit. Right, heading back out of the kitchen. I sort of, I sort of don't, like I said, I don't know how I feel about this. Because it's like... It's more modern stuff, which I'm not usually bothered about. I think it's just the background to it. This is a weird bathroom. I don't know why. I don't know why I find it weird. I think the sinks are really fat and juicy. That mirror, has that mirror got a light in it? I feel like this bit lights up. But I can't see a, there's no switch on it. I feel like it, it's supposed to light up there, but yeah. It's sort of, oh, look. Is that where your toilet roll goes? That's a nice little cute box, isn't it, for your toilet roll? Yeah, yeah it, it's like, I don't really like early 2000s stuff like, in these places. I don't like exploring places that are like anywhere from 1998 onwards because it's all a bit like, a bit tacky and a bit tatty. But this just feels different. Look out of there as well. Oh God, sorry, I just smashed your head in. Oh, that's where my car, that's the car park where my car is. My car's down in the corner over there. But that would have been a great view. Oh, this is the living room, look. But do you know what I mean? Like, oh, is that here? That's just down the road from here. La Quila, La Quila, 1915. So that's the most local big town round here. And they're all going, yeah, they'd all be all going off for, oh, wouldn't they? World War One. What we got up here, is this another one? Oh, I like the fact that they like the history as well. And they're proud of where they're from. Um, La Quia uh, Mercantina, that's market, in Piazza Duomi, in easy, that's the like piazza is like a square in it. 
And when's that? It doesn't say when it is there. Well, that's quite good, isn't it? Look at all the people. That's really good. That's a really old photo. That's like early 1900s. But yeah, this, this, oh, I used to collect these. I used to get these little glass animal things when I was a kid back in the 80s. But is that hammered gold coins? It's a book about European hammered gold coins or something. I'm just gonna, oh, it's a, a tape about them. It's a videotape. I thought it was actual like replicas of them. I would have quite liked to look at those if it was. Right, I'll have a quick look round, see if there's anything worth seeing. Oh, that's like a packed up box ready to go. Taped up, and it's heavy. I'm tempted to open it, but they've spent all that time packing it. I don't think I should. I wonder if that's here. That very much looks like the streets here, but I suppose a lot of Italian streets look the same. But it just makes me wonder. Now, is this a bedroom? Because we've not seen one yet. Oh yeah, this is a kid's bedroom. It's absolutely rammed with stuff. Loads, and this is what I mean. How sad is that? Not memories of, hey Hope. Is that Scotland? I feel I recognize that place. Just a minute, let me try and work it out. I know exactly where that is. I've just had to think about it. So, I'll tell you a story. At the end of this month, March, this is really weird, really strange coincidence. So, at the end of this month, I'm going to France with my dad and Freddie and to do some exploring as well. So, you're going to see some behind the scenes from that. But I am going to spend some time with just them as well. However, we're also going to visit... I call him Uncle John. He's not my uncle. He's actually my mum's cousin. And we're going to go and visit him. He lives in France now. But the one and only time I've been to that place was to visit him. And it's Mull. It's Mull. It's uh, Tobermory where they filmed Balamore. That's definitely, definitely Tobermory. I know it is. Yeah, because they had all the colourful houses and everything. I'm 100% sure that's Mull and Tobermory. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I am pretty sure I'm right with that. But they've travelled around, like Amsterdam, another one for Holland. Um, they've been to Scotland. And it's all their memories. Look, look. Little photos of them growing up. How sad. How sad is this? Being forced to move out. They've got a very eclectic musical interest, though. Kurt Cobain. Then they've got, um, oh, what's his name? Bob Marley, um, Pink Floyd, that's another one of Kurt Cobain, um, I think, does that say Marlene Cunts? <laughs> I, I've never heard of him, or her, or whatever it is. <laughs> Marlene Cunts, that's an unfortunate name. Um, yeah, there's just all sorts of different things on there. Quite a lot, oh, the Beatles, Beatles are on there as well. Oh, but yeah, loads of stuff left. Oh, and look, I'm guessing that's them with their friends in a jigsaw. Because they're up there as well, look, on dinghies. Oh, more stuff around there as well. But, oh, Johnny Depp. There's a load of things of Johnny Depp over there. Oh, it's just, I bet that's someone's diary. I'm not going to read it. It's like a planner or something. It's so sad. I genuinely find it extremely... Oh, and they were a communist by the looks of things. 2003 communist rally or something that. But, oh, look, that's them as well up there. I thought they were boys. I thought that was two little boys. It is, isn't it? Maybe it was just like brothers or cousins or something. But that's... This is their room. Those two up there are... Well, at least one of those... And those two over there. Oh yeah, it's these two at this right hand side. I don't know about the girl with the glasses, but that's those two. Oh, that's 
That's so, so sad. My mum and dad's house still has all my teenage stuff and childhood, st a lot of the childhood stuff in my bedroom. Freddie goes and plays with some of my old toys. In fact, I've got the He-Man figures at my house now. He plays with them there with me. <laughs> but I, it's lovely to look back at things like that. And they're all in an house you're not allowed to visit. It's, it's just mad. I think this is the last room. It's the master bedroom. It's the only one we've not been in. It's quite a big, spacious room, to be fair. And like I said, compared to a lot of these other places where they're all falling down, what has happened to that teddy? Somebody did not like that. They have ripped the shite out of him. Oh, it's en suite as well, look. That's quite a good use of quite a small amount of space as well. A little shower in there and a mirrored door. So you can, it's a bit like hidden. But yeah, it's it's a shame, isn't it? it? Really is a shame. But like I was saying, a lot of these buildings we've been in so far have been absolutely trashed. This one seems almost perfect. So it's a bit weird, isn't it, really? I want to find some old photos, me. That's what I'm looking for, photos. Right, we'll head back down. I am hoping this door is open. It sort of looks open, the angle of it. Doesn't look like it's quite pushed shut. And if that's the case, we might be in. Oh, I knew where we are. Right next to that buzzing noise again. Right next, oh God. I don't know if I can get it out of this door. It's because of my bag. Where were we before? Oh, we're up there. That's that bin. So we've just come round it. Roma Rustica, what does that mean? I still wanna know what that buzzing is. What's causing that noise? Right, we're gonna go a bit further down here. Oh, look at the ceiling in here for a cellar. I reckon we, I've filmed over an hour's worth of footage already. I've been here maybe an hour and a half. To two hours so far. Oh, a little door at the back of there as well. That goes down, I think. Oh, let's go and have a look at that first. Oh, what's this? Very colourful signage. But what I'm going to do is, I think, because I don't want like a four hour video, I'm going to go and look down this cellar, see what I can find, and then we'll have to see you next week, I think. Now, I know for a fact. The best stuff is yet to come because we've got that big tower. There's a church to look at. Look at these big barrels. Once again, I wonder if... No, oh, they're empty. But does that go down? I don't think it does. Right, if it doesn't go down, we might go upstairs before I let you go. But like I said, I just don't want this video going on forever. Why do I always make things so bloody awkward for myself? That's what I want to know. Is that going to take my weight? I hope so. Look at the state of me as well. Oh, well, it definitely wasn't worth coming down into this bit. I am going to, I can't see around the corner, so I'm going to have to have a look. No, there's nothing around the corners. I do feel like that you were to get through there. It's bricked up. What's behind? I can't. There is some another room behind there, but I'm not pulling all this lot out to get to it. But look at this. It's like literally dug into the rock. It just feels like this whole thing could collapse at any time. And it's got a building on top of it. It's a bit weird, isn't it, really? Anyway, let's go back this way and I will take you upstairs. Don't worry, we've not done yet. I just had a bang. It wasn't from me, it was from further down there. Further down there. I hope there's nobody here looking for me, although they'd struggle to find me apart from the torch. I'm on edge now. I sort of don't want you to go anymore. Can you stay with me a bit longer? Please. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm in such a big place like this. 
Because literally, you could kill me off and no one would find me, ever. It sounded like someone out there. Oh, look. I found a photo at last. Oh, look at her. She's cool. She looks like a proper Italian nonna. No, cool. Oh, is that that other room? I think that's probably the room that that one leads to. We'll go up. Oh, in fact, we won't go upstairs. It's in here, look. Oh, look at it in here. Oh, it's another one of these. Although it doesn't lead. Oh, it does lead through to there. Well, oh, another one. Of, is it? Yeah, look, the wine used to come out of there, look, I think. Maybe they'd put the barrel in that bit. And they'd do all the... Oh, God. I thought something ran then. And it's that dangling off my arm. They'd do all the smushing up of of stuff in there. Look, because there's a massive press up at that end as well. They'd smush it all up in here. Or maybe even that bit up there. And then they'd let it run out, all the juice down into the barrel there. That's my guess, anyway. I'm not a wine expert. I, I don't know how these things work, but I can guess, and I like guessing, because then you guys tell me. If I'm wrong, you'll be like, don't be so stupid. It's for this, it's for that. And this is why I like the abandoned house review videos, because people look back at them and then look back at the video and tell me all the different things that I've gone wrong on. And I don't mind, like, unless I'm being, unless I think I'm right. Because I think a lot of you, like me and Andy used to have ridiculous arguments over stupid things, and you know we did. And half the time, I sort of wasn't 100% sure if I was right or not, but I'd proper, like, argue the point because it was Andy, and, like, why not? And I think people think that I have to be right all the time, and I don't. I literally know nothing. I know little bits about everything, but nothing very much. So please tell me. If it's wrong, if I'm wrong, tell me. Although I might then go, no, you're wrong. I'll probably think, actually, you're probably right. But <laughs> Oh, God. Am I going to be hacked to death with that? Technically, would he be hacked with a, that sort of saw? Oh, look, it goes up some steps here. I wonder if this is the bit that used to link then. I wonder if it was like changing of property. Like, who owned it? This is like a weird... It doesn't even really show up on camera. It's like a really weird little grotto full of straw... Does that lead? Oh, God. Yeah, it does. Look, it leads to that bit there that was a door. And it's been sealed up for one reason or another. I just wonder if it's like changing of ownership over the years. That looks like there was a door there as well. Because there's a big pillory bit. That's very strange. But the floor feels weird in here. The floor feels strange because it's all made up of lots and lots of straw. I don't know what for what reason, like what they'd keep in here. Maybe the, because it's only made me think this because of this. The big glass bottle things full of wine. They might have put straw on the floor so they didn't smash. I don't know. It's just a guess again. Right. Let's finally make our way up those stairs. Right. How many of you out there would love this bike? Because I'll tell you something. I would. I would ride that now. Look at the gear change thing there. That's like, what were they called? Choppers, didn't they have gears there like that? And used to people used to fall off them and like crack the nuts on them. That bike is amazing. If I could get that on the plane with me, I would take it. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, obviously. I'm not gonna steal something, but look at it. That's so good, it's so good. Right, I'm looking up these stairs, and I think we're bricked in. But we might be able to go around, I think we can go around a corner. But I reckon you used to be able to go straight out of that. But it's very odd. Maybe it's to bring you out on the next road. And they've blocked it off. Oh, wow. What are we going in? The doors are so thin. Fat men were not designed to be in these, in these places. Oh my lord. Look in here. Oh, it freaks me out. When, like I said, with places like this that are just like whole abandoned towns, I don't expect beds and furniture 
and the most awful lampshade I think I've ever seen in my life. But it's very, very weird. Very strange feeling this. Let's have a look up here. In fact, before we do, where are we? Exactly where we are again. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the ceiling in here. Oh, now, I would have never have expected that in a place like this. That is a beautiful ceiling. Let me zoom out. Look at that. And then it's just the whole room is just. Unbelievable, look at him. Oh, I bet that was her dad. Or maybe her husband that died young or something. I'm only presuming it's a woman because there's a bag there. Some sort of grinder. Maybe she liked Green Fridays or something, I don't know. But and there's all like old ladies' clothes in there. Oh, and I wonder if that was her when she was younger, look. Look at that. It's so good. Oh, this room, this room is just out of this world. I love it. I know it's only simple. I know there's just a bed and it's, it's the ceiling that does it. It's just beautiful. And that guy, I just feel like she's gonna jump up and get me in the bed in a minute. I also feel like there's loads of cannabis leaves on there. <laughs> but, right, oh look. I feel like I've got to be even more quiet in here. So I feel like she's, ugh. My mum and dad have a coal fire, but it doesn't look like that. It's like tar. That's disgusting. And also, this, this is the second house. I've seen one square of brick being removed in the corner, like falling out. I wonder if it's like a weak point in these buildings, that corner bit. Because it's the second house I've seen exactly the same. Really weird. Anyway, let's keep looking. Oh, she'd been playing chess with someone the night before it happened. We are not talking about what is in there. Yeah. Horrible, horrible, horrible things. But what have we got in here? A little kitchenette. What's the difference between a kitchen and a kitchenette? Is a kitchenette just smaller? Do you think? Oh, look at these. Definitely quite blind. They're, they're making me feel a bit weird, a bit sick, to be fair. But <laughs> I've always wanted glasses though, but not glasses like this. Right, so this one is sort of in between the really good one we saw and the really bad ones we've seen. Oh, look at those, look at those steps up chair being put there to help me. Why would there be no steps at the bottom? Well, she's put all the stuff on there. And it's gonna be tight squeeze to get around that corner, but we're gonna go up. But yeah, it's sort of like half a mess and half all right. Did we come up? We came up those stairs, didn't we? What's in here? Oh, bathroom. Bit of a mad looking bathroom. Right. Let's have a look up those stairs and see if there's anything hidden away up there. Yeah, like she's kept all the books and everything on display on here. This chair does not feel safe. It's when you put one weight onto one foot. That's when I get worried. What is happening here? That is weird. Why would there be steps to there? but then it's bricked and it's old brick. Very strange, very, very strange. I don't know what that is, but I like it, that thing at the back. But anyway, is that for panning for gold? I don't know I want to get back down here now because I don't particularly want to put all my weight back down onto that. Because on my way up, I could, I could do it in a good way. Oh, half the wall's falling off. Oh, 
Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Ah, there we go. Right. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this explore. I haven't done yet and I've nowhere near done. So please come back next Sunday to watch the next episode because I really want to make this little, listen to a little mini series. There's at least one more video in this, maybe two, maybe three. We don't know yet, but wow, I've loved what I've seen so far. Anyway, see you soon.